Hi guys, I'm Drew Samuel. I'm the matchmaker for Bama. Um, giving you an exclusive on MMA Plus of the fight card for Bama 12, which will be on the 9th of March in the Metro Radio Arena. But we've got up um, Kurt Warburton, Kurt War Warburton versus Steve the Braveheart Ray for the Lonsdale the British lightweight title. And Kurt was supposedly uh, supposed to fight uh, Rob Sinclair for the world title, the Bama world title, but Rob unfortunately got injured quite badly actually, um, which put him out for quite a few months. Um, so Kurt, you know, the opportunity came around for Kurt to fight um, Stevie, and so just Kurt jumped at it, and Stevie said, "Yeah, it'd be a good challenge for them." This fight is actually it's. I think because Kurt was going for the world title, I think people thought that think that you know the fight between Steve and Kurt is actually a bit far far apart because one's fighting on a British level, the other one's fighting at a world level, so to speak. And it's actually much closer than people think. You know, if you look at their record, one's at 11 and three, which is Kurt, and, and and Steve is actually at 12 and three. And Kurt obviously has got the more international experience over Stevie, and he's been in the UFC, etc. However. Their styles are pretty similar, um, so to speak. You know, they you know they've got very good wrestling, both of them. But Stevie also has, uh, I think, has got a little bit of a judo background as well. It was a good fight between him and Dale Hardman for him to win the title. You know, he he basically you know just ground him out. You know, ground out Dale. You know, I like both those guys. You know, um, but and um, but yeah, he, he proved that you know that he can actually. You know, take it to these guys, you know, and fight on that level. So this this fight is, you know, way, way more way more closer than people think. You know, Kurt has also got a hometown advantage. So yeah, you know, for, for Kurt, he, he wants a title. He wants a Bama title. He just he just you know he he's, he was very disappointed at the fact that um, Rob got injured. But you know, it, it is what it is. You know, fighters get injured all the time. I think one of the best things that come off the back of that is actually putting these two guys together. Next fight at the co-main event, we have um, Marcin Lazarus versus Max Power Nunes, or uh, Nunes. Marcin and his last out in Alabama basically took apart a highly rated fighter at, the, at that moment in time, Sam Mensa, and it was a really dominant performance and uh, he pr impressed a lot of people. Um, Max, however, you know, everybody knows Max, is probably the number one contender um, for at light heavyweight in this country. One of the newest signings to Bama, he signed a four-fight deal with Bama, and uh, we've got a lot of plans for him uh, to take him forward. You know, he's he's one of those guys that has the has massive potential to grow, um, not only within the organisation, but you know, uh, really make a statement with regards to in in Europe and worldwide. And Martin is actually hot on his heels. Um, Max is nine and zero. Martin's five and zero. Somebody's always got to go. Martin can make a massive statement and make a really really big jump here. Um, and I think a win for Marcin basically would actually put him up in you know the top three to four light heavyweights in this country. A win for Max, you know, is, is another win for Max would just you know state what everybody's actually been saying. You know, he, he's that good. But you know, with, with these two, you know, it's, it's going to be a cracking fight. You know, extremely cracking fight. Head, the headline in Bama 12, we have um, the return of Mr. Judo Jimmy Warhead. Um, probably um, one of the most popular fighters that we have on, on Bama. And one of the most popular fighters in the UK. Um, he's taken on a veteran, um, UFC veteran Matt Veach. Um, Matt's been, been around for a little while and he's got a hell of a lot of experience. <laughs> Um, it's a it's a good you know really really good uh, competitive fight for for Jimmy and it's good to have him back you know on the show this uh, fight is almost like a, a homecoming and another return you know his, his last few fights for Bama was was the return of him coming back to fight on, on his home soil and I think this fight is you know the prodigal son has kind of returned back home again so yeah it's, it's going to be Really, really good to see him back in action. He always brings an exciting fight. He always steps up to the game. His, his opponents also, you know, they step up to the game as well. And yeah, it's, it's going to be a really exciting fight for for Bam 12. This one, I'm really looking forward to this fight. Actually, um, Matt Beach he comes in at 16 or four. Um, he's um, he's fought in the UFC before. He's uh, he's fought the likes of uh, Frank Yeager, and he's actually fought our very own uh, UK's Paul Kelly as well. Um, so. You know, he's a perfect type of fighter for for um, Jim to fight um, back on home soil and stuff. So uh, Matt, 
you know, he, he needs to kind of like get back into uh, winning ways, etc. You know, he's, uh, his last three fights, um, sorry, last four fights is two and two. Um, so he needs a win, so he's going to be very, very hungry um, coming in um, to fight Jimmy Woolhead. So it would be good to see uh, what he brings to the table and what skills and you know how he's going to adapt to basically being number one in here in the UK and number two fighting an opponent like Jimmy Woolhead as well.